Hey guys, it's your boy Rack coming out with a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to lower your ping using some really awesome tweaks. I can guarantee that most of you guys have now seen some of these tweaks. And these tweaks will not only help you to lower your ping, but also reduce your packet loss to absolute zero. So yeah guys, just make sure you go ahead and follow the full guide. Before we begin, I do wanna let you know that I make plenty of FPS and ping related videos. So do be sure to check them out on my channel. Leave a like on the video, it really helps me guys. And subscribe to the channel for future content. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let's dive straight into the tweaks. First up guys, before we do anything, we will create a restore point so that if you don't like any of the changes for whatever reason, you can simply restore and revert all of those changes with a simple step. So to do that, just simply go down to your start menu and type restore, click on create a restore point, and then choose the drive in which your windows is installed and click on create. You can name it anything, I'm just gonna name it 2021 because I already have one for 2020. Create it. Okay guys, so now the restore point is created. So if you want to use it, then simply come back to this and click on system restore. Click on next. Select the restore point that you just created, click on next and follow the instructions. It's really simple and will help you guys a lot. Okay guys, so for the first step, we are gonna update our network drivers because it's really important to be on the latest drivers and uh, if you guys let the windows decide when to upgrade your drivers, most of the times it will update to an outdated driver, especially for your network which can cause a lot higher ping and packet loss. So to simply update your drivers, go down to your start menu and type device and click on device manager. Then click on network adopters and right click on the first one, click on update drivers and select automatically. As you guys can see, I have already updated my drivers. If you haven't updated, then simply download the drivers and restart your PC and then continue on with the guide. For the next step guys, we are gonna do some registry tweaking to make sure that we are allowing those network adapters to run at their maximum potential. To do that, go down to your start menu and type reg and you will find the registry editor, right click on it, run it as administrator. And then paste this command from the description. I will provide it in the description. Just simply copy and paste it and then press enter. You will be in this folder. Okay, so here you will find the network throttling index and the system responsiveness. Double click on the network throttling index and set its value to F and type F7 times. And then click on OK. Then double click on system responsiveness and type 0 8 times. Make sure the value is on hexadecimal and click on OK. And then you can close out of it and we are done with the step. Ok guys, moving on, go down to your start menu again and type device manager again. R click on it. Go down to your network adapters and right click on the first one. Go down to properties. Go to power management and make sure that this one which says save power at the end, make sure that it's unchecked. Then go to advanced and then here guys I won't recommend tweaking too many things but there are some things that I recommend changing so go ahead and follow me for the adaptive interframe spacing make sure that it's disabled then energy efficient ethernet make sure it's off then go to IPv4 checksum offload make sure it's disabled too and then go down a bit till you find receive buffers and make sure it's on 512 or if you are still having some packet loss then change it to 128. This is basically the size of your packets. So for me 512 is working really great so I am gonna choose that. Go down a bit to speed and duplex and make sure that it's on the highest full duplex value. 
for me it's 100 mpps full duplex make sure it's full duplex and then click on it then go all the way down to wake on magic packet make sure it's disabled and wake on pattern match make sure it's disabled too then click on ok and close out of it okay guys next up go down to your start menu again and this time type control panel and open up your control panel go to network and internet go to network and sharing center then click on change adapter settings then right click on the ethernet that you are currently using this works on both ethernet and wi-fi then click on properties and then here guys just basically uncheck everything except for ipv4 as i have already unchecked everything except for ipv4 so yeah guys the credit for this goes to fr33thy i will leave his youtube channel link in the description go ahead and check him out so this will not only reduce your ping guys but it will help you with packet loss as well this method works really great i have tested it myself so make sure to only leave the ipv4 one option checked and uh, then uncheck everything else and click on ok next up guys we are gonna remove the bandwidth limit which is gonna allow your network to send and receive data at a much faster rate which is gonna lower your ping dramatically so to do that go down to your start menu and type run open it up and then type g p e d i t dot m s c press ok here go into the administrative templates go into network and then find the qos packet scheduler double click on the limit reservable bandwidth and then click on enabled and bandwidth limit percent type 0 make sure it's enabled and the bandwidth limit percent is 0 then click on ok and you can close out of it next up guys we're gonna be using the tcp optimizer i know a lot of you guys might already be using the tcp optimizer but trust me guys i have changed some of these settings and the credit for these settings goes to milkbrain i will link down his twitter in the description and uh, the settings we changed are in the advanced section of the tcp optimizer so go down into the description and download the tcp optimizer and the export file that comes along with it and then go down to your start menu and search tcp right click on the tcp optimizer and run it as administrator let it load everything the settings we changed uh, i already put them into the export file so you don't need to change anything and i'm gonna show you those settings in just a sec okay guys so once it opens up make sure to drag the slider all the way to the right and make sure that don't modify network adapters is unchecked and modify all network adapters is checked then click on file import and import the export file that comes along with the tcp optimizer click on open and in the advanced section here guys you should be able to see the settings that are changed then click on apply changes ok and then let it apply changes your internet might disconnect and reconnect but that's completely normal okay so after that it will say you to reboot but we are gonna click on no because we are gonna reboot later then click on exit and we are done next up guys we are gonna use malwarebytes adware cleaner i will link it down in the description go ahead download it and install it it's really easy and then open it up make sure to use the free version guys because free version contains everything that we need so you don't need to buy the premium one okay guys so once it opens up go into the settings go into security scroll down a bit and make sure to turn on scan for rootkits make sure that it's turned on then click on the x and click on scan what this will do is guys it's gonna search your pc for malware adware and all the potentially unwanted programs that might be running in the background not only using your cpu resources but also the network and uh, which de cause a decrease in your fps as well as cause high ping so this is gonna really help you guys out 
This can take some time depending on the specs of your PC so be patient and let the skin run throughout. So yeah guys, once the skin is complete, click on the quarantine button which will basically block all of these threats and also wipe them all out and then click on done. Okay guys, so if you have made this far into the video, then I'm gonna give you some tips to reduce your ping even further. So yeah guys, the first thing that comes to mind is using an Ethernet cable. Guys, it will dramatically decrease your ping, it will lower your ping so much. For example, you are playing on 15 to 20 ping on your Wi-Fi, it will lower your ping to even zero. Yeah guys, Ethernet cable can make a lot of difference. The next tip for Wi-Fi users will be that you should keep your router close to your PC. It's also for the Ethernet users, but it's really helpful for Wi-Fi users. You need to keep your router close to your PC. And the last one would be guys to never use any of those sketchy websites which promise you to lower your ping or download their software and they will dramatically lower your ping from 1000 ms to zero. That's absolutely, absolutely false information guys. Don't ever use such softwares. There are some which are recommended by YouTubers. You can search them up. And yeah guys that's it for this video. Hope this video helped you guys. Be sure to leave a like if it did help you and subscribe to the channel. Use code RECNOTEK in the item shop to support me. See you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.